Losing spots. That's good. Still there. Clear left. That's what aggression gets you. That's what aggression gets you. We'll need to pit for hey guys, it's week 13 of iRacing, which means iRacing releases brand new content. So today we are going to review the newly released um, McLaren 570S GT4. I think this looks like a great car to me, has uh, good potential uh, to be a great GT4 car. So I thought I'd just make this video about the 570S and we'll quickly just go over um, the first impressions for this car, how the car looks and then we'll move on to force feedback for this car, how fun is it to drive and then we'll end it off with a short race and see if we can survive. So if you like this video make sure to hit that like wow. button and subscribe to my channel for more motorsport and some racing related content. So without further ado, let's hit the track and try out this car. So in terms of power, pretty nice. 3.8 liter V8, 7 speed transmission. It's an aluminum carbon panel. Not bad. It's got 18 inch rears and fronts. Coil over springs. Interesting. 110 liters of capacity. I don't think we're ever going to need that that much um, in any GT4 race. But hey, if there are endurance races, it's always helpful. I think the car looks pretty pretty good. I really like the side profile right here. It's a standard 570S. Um, I think it's just a GT4 spec, but in terms of looks, looks pretty good. You know, I think I would go on to say this is the best GT, best looking GT4 car in iRacing right now. Um, it's got 140 global podium finishes something to keep in mind i guess so just looking at the car and giving some first impressions i think the front end looks gorgeous um it's just like the production car looks really good yeah like i was saying really nice front end just overall a really good looking gt4 car i think this this is more of like a like a sports car you know um just having driven just a couple of laps, I felt like it's it's a car I could just get into and just drive, um, drive as hard as I can. It's, it's a nice car where you can explore the limits, but yeah, the car looks really good. So before we start to um, head out on track and just do a few laps, um, just want to let you guys know that this is the fixed setup from iRacing. So this is not a preloaded setup since obviously this car is less than 24 hours old right now. So we're using the fixed setup from iRacing. And I did a couple of laps. We are at the Hockenheim ring right now. So I did a couple of laps and I thought I just moved the brake bias um, to minus 25% a bit. Just felt okay so far. So we're just going to go out on track and get some first impressions. So I think first I'd like to talk about the sound. I think the engine noise feels okay. It's not spectacular, but for a GT4 car, I think it sounds pretty good. I do hear some pops and pops and bangs and gurgles but it's not too prominent seems pretty all right um so i've driven the bmw gt4 so this is only my second gt4 and feels way better than the beamer honestly so if you're just talking about the sound, yeah, it's where I honestly prefer it over the Beamer. So about the force feedback. I think it feels super smooth now. iRacing has done a GT4 update. It's 
it's got a really nice um, front end the car doesn't feel heavy like the BMW GT4 the gear shifts seem like it's like a small click that I hear nothing more than that I would have expected something better even in the BMW GT4 when you shift there is a nice pop that you hear and this one it's just like a click you know seems weird yeah I think the front end is super light I really like how nice the front end feels there's not a lot of uh Yeah, so as I was saying, the front end feels really nice and light. It doesn't feel so understeery um, like the like the Beamer uh, does. So front end is really good. I really like the way the car turns. In terms of acceleration, pretty good, you know. I feel like I can push this car quite a bit. Um, I don't know if it's the update that has... Um, I don't know if the update has basically put this into effect in all the cars, but... Alright, dude, man. Lower car feels really man. nice. I will have to say, though... This car loves to move under that braking, especially through that corner. Just, I guess it's the setup, but the car loves to move under braking. But you can get on the throttle nice and early. And yeah, this track feels awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think I have really good confidence on the front end. Yeah, man, I think this is going to be a very good competitor for the K-Man. So to answer the question, is it fun to drive? Absolutely. I think it's great fun to drive. Force feedback feels nice. Ooh. Beautiful. I love the traction control on this thing. All right, let's do a hot lap. Get on the throttle nice and early through that apex. And again, no moments of oversteer or understeer for that matter. You know, the more you drive this thing, the more you are um, getting really settled with the car I don't think it'll take you too long to learn this car very easy to just get in and drive yeah it's a great addition to the GT4 series I think um, I really like the GT4 series I know that it's not the most popular series amongst the iRacing community there are some people who find it really terrible to drive. That being said, um, I think the new patch. Yeah, see, this is this is. I I'm not able to get a hold of this, but I think this is going to um, increase the popularity of the GT4 series or the IMSA Pilot Challenge for sure. Um, I think it's gotten less love than it deserves because these cars are really good to drive. They offer great wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. 
I think it's a great step up from the Mazdas. So if you're just straight out of rookies, you want to get into more GT racing, I think this is a great place to start. Great place to start. So what do you guys think? How do you guys like the new McLaren GT4? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord. Um, link is in the description down below as well. Until then, cheers.